Last time on Mars Station. A ship approaches the station with the offer to transport the crew, along with other colonists, to a new planet to start a new life. Although tempting, the offer is turned down by the crew. However, a goodwill exchange is implemented. Going well at first, the captain of the ship is freed from stasis, and reveals that it was hijacked. Another ship from the owner of the cruise liner, Astral Lines, attempts to negotiate for its release resulting in their negotiators being eaten. Meanwhile, Zeely the Martian ambassador collapses as her body starts shutting down. Sally can do nothing. After cancelling all leaves, Matt learns from Orion Special Forces that it has been hijacked by genetically engineered, carnivorous plants. He also learns that Derek is missing and has been taken prisoner by the plants. After attempting to reason with the gigantic plant leader, Matt concludes that an assault on the ship is both necessary and prudent, and must bring together a ragtag army for a vicious fight, with the fate of many colonists and Derek hanging in the balance. And now the conclusion. I am from Orion Special Forces. The tactical situation is very serious. We will be commanding the attack on the ship. If we can, we would like to avoid destroying it because it may have vital data on the plants. The objective is to remove the plants from the ship one way or the other. We don't believe that this particular group of plants is armed, but we could be wrong. What we do know is that we will be outnumbered at least 3 to 1 by the pod creatures alone. They will be using diversionary tactics, and will no doubt will implement many barriers and tricks. Many of them will doubtless be appearing as colonists for example. This attack will not be a surprise. Once you have identified a target as a plant, you must kill without remorse. Also, if they are unarmed, they will be doing everything to drag us into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Captain Matt Stone will be coordinating all this. His sister will now explain who will be in each team. For anyone who does not know, I am Heather Stone. The force against the plants will be split into three parts. Jill Lass will command Discovery, and the rest of the crew will be from Astral Lines. They are inexperienced in combat but are excellent flyers. They will also fly the shuttle and ship. This is the best place for them as they are civilians. Team number two will also be using Astral Lines personnel to help release hostages from the stasis. The biggest issue may be convincing them to evacuate but I think they will when they hear the fighting. I will help provide security and hopefully be able to get Derek out and give him a weapon. Team three will do most of the fighting. Use the tricorder to determine who is a plant and who is human. Plants give off little heat. Our objective, once all colonists are off the ship, will be to set a timer to evacuate the air, destroying any remaining plants and life on board in the process. After that, the ship will be repressurized, and then the colonists return to their planets. May God help us.
I will give you a gun. We are raiding this place. I am cold but I am itching for a fight after they locked me in there. You let her go you dirty weed. I won't let you eat her. Go up the ramp on the side and then the red ramp. Good luck. Stay away from combat.
We are evacuating all civilians from this ship. Climb the red ramp up to the hangar bay. Please trust me. I am trying to save you. I will help you out of here. We want to rescue you.
well I see they let you out of stasis. How nice. I could use a snack. Although the humans were badly outnumbered, their weapons and combat training proved decisive. The human-like plant pods were ineffective in the fight and quickly they were defeated, taking some last-minute revenge on what colonists remained.
Sally, where is Zeely? Is she gone? I don't know, Matt. Her body vanished during the battle. There is no contact with the other Martians either. This is the one dark spot in an otherwise solid victory. How is everyone? There are many bumps and bruises but nothing I cannot handle. Everyone is okay. Will Derek require therapy? He was badly affected by the cold. Well Matt, he already has someone helping get him warmed up. Take a look. Well it looks like that sly little devil will be okay. Thanks Sally. Captain Stone we are packing it up and leaving. We will be forever grateful to you. The Orions are going with us. I suppose you have your work cut out for you, taking the colonists back to their planets. Captain, they are not going back with us. You need to talk to them about that. We would take them back if they were willing. Where do they think they are going to stay? I will send one of their representatives. I heard you are not leaving. I am confused. Captain, despite all the tragedy we originally set out to settle on a new planet, it has already gotten around that the Martians have vacated. We have found our planet. Life on Mars would not be easy. Where will you get supplies and shelter? Captain Faber has already offered to supply those. We are moving to the surface. We would appreciate it if you would pick out a good area for us to go. We have gone over the area and this one apparently has a main installation. We will set up the colonist camp in the open area away from the installation as we don't fully know what to expect. Then what? We just walk. You have got to be kidding. No you will need to get used to the Martian surface. A small hike will not hurt anything. Have you been in their facilities? To a limited extent I have. No Matt the people will not be able to enter our facilities until they have passed through the forest of fears. Zeely is that you? What is going on? It is I in part. The people need to prove themselves worthy of taking over our planet by going through the forest of fears. Proving themselves is the final step before we formally hand over the scroll of ownership. I am not sure of what all this means but we will set up down there and take the walk. Choose two of your people to help lead the colonists through the forest to the open area. Complete the journey, and I will be there in person to hand over the scroll. Well Heather we finally are setting up a colony although I wish it was for all of us. These people have worked long and hard and suffered terribly for this. And now to have to go through the forest of fears whatever that is it just does not seem right somehow. After those nightmares we had I doubt this place could scare me. Those Martians have been really mysterious. Matt told me that Zeely was completely different. Hello Earth officers. I am Ambassador Lacey Jean of the planet Pegasus. I would like to speak with you about the current situation. Oh my. I am Jake Soma, astrobiologist, and this is Heather Stone, tactical specialist. Shall we go into the shelter to discuss this? I would be happy to. First of all I wish to convey my personal gratitude for your rescuing me from a horrible fate. I know that these people here are from disparate backgrounds and that may raise some issues. Will you go with us through the forest of fears? Absolutely we will. 
Our orders are to help watch over the group and guide you through the forest. Excellent. It is getting dark. I suggest that we three stay in this shelter for the night. There are 20 shelters and 75 colonists so these things will be a little cramped. We have building technology that will allow you to create new structures. Matt Stone, our captain, will do everything he can to assist in the founding of your colony. Hello fellow colonists we are about to embark on a journey into the unknown. We are told that we need to walk through the forest of fears before ownership of Mars can be turned over to us. It will not be easy, but we have no way back now that the ships have left. All of you chose this path as did I. The captain and crew who helped rescue us are helping us get set up on the new world. This world is known to them as Mars. They are the last remnants of the Earth civilization which was wiped out by the Zorkons. Now I will turn this over to two of their representatives, Officer Jake Soma and Officer Heather Stone. I am Heather Stone. The captain is my older brother. We hope that you will be resilient during this time of testing. Despite the lurid name of this area, we believe that there are few real dangers in this forest. Stems have shown nothing. I am Jake Soma. I am the station's astrobiologist. I have studied Mars and its life and so far there has been little to fear I find Mars fascinating, not frightening. Bravery is the overcoming of fear. We must be brave. As representatives of the Earth we will help guide you through the forest of fears. Using our intelligence is better than using weapons. Everyone, it is time. Follow us.
The last time we had this conversation I told you that I am not afraid of you. Well I hope you are satisfied the way you have frightened the colonists. Frankly I think they have suffered enough. I am not afraid to say this to Zeely either.
You don't really look all that dangerous. I will not run away from you. It acts almost like a pet. I think it is mainly curious about us whatever it is. Well I suppose you want me to scream and run away. Not so fast. I might just put you in a cage and take you back to the station for a pet. Okay Heather I give. You earth people are just no fun sometimes. You better tell Zeely that these people passed their test. I don't know. I was having so much fun scaring them. Oster I will grab you by your ears and drag you to her if I have to. Alright I get the point. You don't have to be mean. On behalf of the Martian people, I hereby transfer ownership of Mars to you. To be a custodian of the planet, and rebuild it. On behalf of the new Martian people, and with all gratitude, I accept your kind gift. <laughs>